Hello primary two students. Today I'm going to show you an experiment on erosion. As we learned in class, erosion is removing of uh, soil or sand or rocks. And it is the reason some uh, stones and some rocks and some places in the world look the way they do. We have seen pictures on our PowerPoint. And uh, today I am going to show you how it works. Of course, it does not work as fast as it does in the experiment. As we learned, it has to happen over a long period of time. That is maybe hundreds or even thousands of years. Let's also remember that it has to happen due to natural forces, which means that only uh, running water from nature or wind blowing uh, basically are the causes of this uh, erosion. Um, but for example, if I have a tractor and I go ahead and break down a mountain, I would never call this erosion for two reasons. First of all, it's because it's not a natural cause, it's a human cause. Uh, and second, because breaking a mountain with a tractor is uh, fast, it happens over a few days or a few weeks at best, so I cannot call it an erosion. Uh, now, you are going to need simple ingredients or simple tools to do this experiment. I'm going to show you what you need. If you can collect some sand or some soil from the street or from a garden, that would be great. If you don't have uh, sand available or soil, I used uh, breadcrumbs from the kitchen. Uh, the rest of the tools I'm going to show you on the video. I hope you enjoy. So for this experiment, we are going to need pretend sand. I'm using breadcrumbs, but if you can get sand or soil from a garden, that would be great. We are also going to need water to mimic the water erosion. We are going to need the box where we are going to perform the experiment. And we are going to need a straw to mimic the wind erosion. I advise you to use the plastic wrap during the wind erosion experiment to prevent making a mess. Now let's put some of the pretend sand into the box. Make sure it's all in one side and uh, try not to put too much. Okay. Add some more. Um, this is a bit too much. Just make sure it's all on one side to be able to see the effect of erosion. Okay. I advise you to wrap it up with a plastic wrap to prevent the mess, especially with the wind erosion. And then using the straw, poke a hole where you are going to blow. Okay. I'm going to do it without the plastic wrap, but you do it with the plastic wrap. Now, I'm only going to blow in one place or in a very small place for you to be able to see the effect of erosion. Now, can you already see? where I'm blowing. The place looks very different. If this is a pretend mountain, it now looks like it's two mountains separated by a valley or uh, an area without a mountain. All right, let's just add some more erosion to it and look how it looks. You can clearly see where the wind was blowing and from where the sand was removed. All right, now let's reset our setting. We are now going to do the water erosion. And because I want to make the erosion in a specific place, I am going to use a syringe, but you don't have to use it. Now I am going to go ahead and take some water in the syringe and just drop it in a specific place and look how the water is already removing some of the sand the place already looks very different you can easily tell where the water was running exactly the effect of erosion on uh, real stones and 
in real natural places looks very similar to this because it sort of uh, removes the sand and the soil that comes in its way. Thank you for attending this video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something new today. Uh, if you would like, I think you can try this experiment by yourself at home. Um, but make sure not to make a mess and make sure you clean after. Thank you and uh, have a nice day.